para ipakita ang tunay na estado ng ating bansa. Ilahad ang mga pinakabagong balita at pangyayari sa ating bayan. Ipaalam sa taong bayan ang katotohanan at ipaliwanag ang mga hakbang na ginagawa ng pamahalaan upang manatiling payapa at maiangat ang pamumuhay ng bawat Pilipino. Mula sa Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte, ito ang Talk to the People. We have uh, Carlo Nograles uh, to give us the Ayong adlaw, Mr. President, Senator Bongo, uh, ES Medaldea, mga kaubanan natin sa gabinete, mga kababayan. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung trabaho ng ating mga uh, iba't ibang ahensya, lalong-lalo na sa ilalim ng Office of the President. Noong nakaraang report ko po sa inyo, Mr. President Pideya, ngayon po yung Dangerous Drugs Board naman po, na alam din po natin na under the Office of the President, uh, This year, they celebrate their 49th anniversary at uh, ayon sa Republic Act 9165 or yung Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act, sila po yung policy-making at strategy-formulating body para sa mga polisi at programa ng pamalaan kontra droga for drug prevention and drug control. So, isa sa pinaka-strategy po natin against drugs, itong Philippine Anti-Illegal Drug Strategy or PADS. Ito po ay isang ayon sa Executive Order number no. 66 na pinirmahan niyo po, Mr. President, para ma-institutionalize ang ating whole-of-nation approach uh, kung saan lahat ng government offices, departments, bureaus, agencies, government-owned and controlled corporations, state universities and colleges, at uh, lahat po ng kasama natin sa gobyerno ay implement itong PADS. Uh, dito po nakalagay ang ating pinaka-comprehensive at balanced strategy aligned with the international and regional frameworks on drug prevention and control. Kung makikita po natin yung, kumbaga yung pinaka-drawing niya, ang framework is represented by a bow and arrow dahil dalawa po yan, drug supply reduction and drug demand reduction. So, under sa PADS, minomonitor ng DDB ang implementation ng mga operational plans ng iba't ibang agencies of government. We have 61 agencies so far that is implementing PADS all over the country. Pero hindi rin papahuli ang DDB. Next slide, sa National Response Against COVID-19, nakapag-donate din po sila. Next slide, ng isolation tents to 143 cities, amounting to 1,460 isolation tents at nagkapagbigay rin po sila ng anti-COVID-19 essential kits. Next slide. Sa pamamagitan po ng memorandum from the Office of the President, nagkaroon din po tayo ng memorandum of agreement for the institutional support for implementation of Philippine Anti-Illegal Drug Strategy kung saan ang DDB ay nakakapagbigay ng grants to the implementing agencies. Next slide. Of course, to raise awareness ay meron din po mga information, education, communications materials na dinidisseminate ang DDB to raise awareness, understanding, and support para sa Philippine anti-drug strategy natin. Next slide. At siyempre, dahil sa pandemic, virtual workshops din po ginagawa nila. Dahil malagang mahalaga ang tamang impormasyon sa laban kontra droga, And uh, we engage key officials, focal persons, communication, and information officers in these comms plans. Next slide. Next slide. And then, of course, we do policy discussions. Uh, kasama yung preparatory meetings natin para prepare yung ating designated permanent representative of the Philippines to the United Nations International Narcotics Board sessions. Uh, nakapag-present po tayo ng Drug Situation Report of the Philippines and our compliance to three United Nations Drug Control Conventions as well as our continuing consultations ng DDB's support to the International Narcotics Board. Next slide. Then of course, as a board, they also issue regulations and board resolutions Kabilang na sa mga notable board regulations nila itong pagtanggal ng lingwa sa list of dangerous drugs for a period of one year. 
yung uh, regulation ng pagka-grant ng awards to law enforcers sa mga successful anti-drug operations natin against high-value targets and high-impact operations, especially in the delivery and management of the application for award, at yung barangay drug clearing program natin to implement a drug supply reduction and drug demand reduction sa ating mga communities and barangays. Kasama rin po, next slide, yung guidelines natin uh, sa implementation ng private eye, ito yung pagbibigay natin ng reward schedule sa confiscation or recovery of marijuana and hashish. At meron din po tayong BJMP na programa na jail-based reformation centers called Kanlungan sa Piitan. Next slide. We also have preventive education and capacity building. Uh, 10,653 Individuals ang nabigyan, nakabenefit sa capacity building programs and 13,760 on our advocacy programs in year 2021. Meron din po tayong trainers training sa different local government units, pati na rin po sa CHED. At uh, nagbibigay rin po tayo ng updates virtually on the list of dangerous drugs and controlled precursors and chemicals. And nagkoconduct rin tayo ng virtual workshop for prosecutors, judges, law enforcers, and uh, PIDEA agents and the Philippine National Police. Next slide. Meron din po tayong tahanang pangkabuhayan program uh, kung saan in the facility controlled environment nagbibigay tayo ng skills training and employment training para sa mga recovering drug dependents at kaagapay natin ang uh, test na po dito. And then of course, we continue to push for a drug-free workplace uh, to implement drug abuse prevention activities ensuring the safety of our workplaces. Next slide. We also have Facebook live streaming to teach parents on their role in the protection of children against drug abuse, the salient provisions ng Dangerous Drugs Act, strengthening our anti-drug abuse councils, and strengthening the refusal skills of uh, the youth just to say no to drugs. Ito yung maganda, Mr. President. Next slide. Nagkoconduct din ang DDB ng research studies. At ang isang magandang uh, pag-aaral, pagsusuri at study na ginawa po nila, itong 2019 National Household Survey on the Patterns and Trends of Drug Abuse. Ayon sa National Household Survey na ito, ang current users ng drugs natin is 1.67 million. 1.67 million. Age 10 to 69 na current users of drugs. This is much, much lower than the global estimates ng 2018 na 5.3%. Dahil sa atin, sa 1.67 million, nasa 2% na lang tayo. And if you compare this to the uh, lifetime user prevalence rate na 5.8%. Ibig sabihin, 4.73 million age 10 to 69 tried drugs at least once in their life. So tama yung sinabi mo, Mr. President, na yung 4 million Filipino drug users in 2016, napabagsak nyo po yung 4 million, now it's down to 2%, 1.67 na lang po ang estimated so this shows the success of the government's anti-drug um, programs and it indicates, in fact, the survey shows a high public awareness and approval, approval ng government's anti-drug campaign. So government not only succeeded in flattening user prevalence rate dito sa bansa, but it has also reversed the trend. Yan po yung uh, findings dito sa 2019 National Household Survey on the patterns and trends of drug abuse. So, uh, marami po rong pa pong mga pagsusuri at pag-aaral na ginagawa ang DDB um, and patuloy rin ang pagbigay nila ng support sa ating Department of Health, sa mga treatment and rehabilitation centers natin across the country and even the profiling of the drug users. Next slide. In fact, um, nagbibigay rin po sila ng tulong sa mga drug abuse treatment and rehab centers natin, and community-based treatment and rehab facilities 
nationwide. As of September 30, 2021, there are a total of 74 accredited drug abuse treatment and rehab centers all over the country. So patuloy po ang pagserbisyo publiko ng DDB, bagamat may kinakaharap tayong pandemya, at sa gitna ng COVID-19, makakaasa po tayo na yung mga nasimula na na maprograma ng DDB to eradicate and minimize drug supply and drug demand reduction upang makamit ang 100% drug-free communities sa buong bansa ay lalo pa nating pinag-iiting. So Mr. President, meron po silang short video uh, presentation to show the people yung ginagawa ng accomplishments ng Dangerous Drugs Board. Can we watch the clip? The Dangerous Drugs Board derives its mandate from Republic Act 9165 with the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. The law also mandates the Dangerous Drugs Board to be the policy-making and strategy-formulating body on drug prevention and control. DDB is tasked to develop and adopt a comprehensive, integrated, unified, and balanced national strategy against drugs. Under the administration of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the anti-drug campaign has been enhanced and strengthened through the collaboration of national government agencies, as well as the support of non-government organizations, private sector, and local communities, which are the center of all its anti-drug efforts. This whole-of-nation approach in the fight against illegal drugs is anchored in the Philippine Anti-Illegal Drug Strategy, or PADS. Agencies of the government have been contributing to the realization of a drug-free Philippines through the implementation of programs defined as supply reduction efforts coupled with comprehensive demand reduction initiatives and supported by strong international ties. Drug supply reduction aims to take away drugs from the public and cut the supply through alternative development. Another strategy implemented by the government is drug demand reduction, which aims to take people away from abusing drugs through policy formulation, preventive education, research, treatment and rehabilitation, and reintegration. Strategies are aimed at consensus building where people recognize the drug problem and are encouraged to be part of the solution. Strengthening the rule of law and ensuring regulatory compliance are also part of this strategy, along with instituting responsive advocacy programs, which also puts our programs in platforms where they can be reviewed, evaluated, and adopted as best practices. Thank you.